Good evening. Hello to all of you. Thank you for taking the time to come and join me today for the listing presentation class and its components. Tonight are some of the items that can help you become a better realtor. I want to help you understand how to prepare a listing. What is that? That's opportunity. It's knocking. You've been marketing and now you receive a call and they're asking you to come to present a listing presentation. Wow, you haven't done one. When I started 30 years ago, my manager, my broker, my mentor took me out. So I saw it live. Today, it's not done that way. Most of the time, you are either doing a mock listing presentation at your office or you're thrust out on your own. Well, my class, this condensed version of that class, hopefully will help you understand what a listing presentation is about. And if you come to my two-hour class, you surely will understand what the listing presentation is all about. What are the components of a listing presentation? When you get that, knock on the door. How do I prepare for that listing presentation? Well, my class will help you understand that better. I will help you understand what tools you'll need to prepare for that listing presentation. Here are just a few of the components that I think are part of the listing presentation. Number one, your resume. Tell me who you are. I think if you went on a listing presentation, they'd like to know. So that's one of the components. Number two, tell me about your company. Bruce, our manager or broker, will always say to you, have your schmeal or your script ready. And when someone asks you, what is your company all about? Are you ready to tell them? Something like this. Hi, I'm with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, and my name is Jose Martinez. Yes. I'll tell you a little bit about my company. My company, we have 21 offices. We're from the desert to the sea. We have about 2,100 realtors in our company. And when you hire me, you hire them. We're in Cerritos, Bellflower, Norwalk, Long Beach. We're in the desert. And like I said, now our new office in Metro Los Angeles. That will be something that you'll be able to learn when you come to my class. Scripts. What else will we learn? We'll learn to get prepared for that listing. And what does that mean? That means we'll have to find out the data and the information about that property. A listing is not just a CMA. That's a comparative market analysis. Are you ready for that listing? Would you know the properties around you? Have you seen the properties in those areas you're marketing now? All of that will be important to you when you go to your listing presentation. Knowing the competition. I will help you prepare or understand how to prepare that CMA. The active, the pending, the sold. So that you can sit down with your clients and better articulate to them what the active, pending, and sold mean to them when you're selling and marketing their home. Number four, one of the components that are very important to me is a seller's net sheet. What is a seller's net sheet? In today's world, you could do it electronically through your CRMLS, through your title company. Also, you can do it manually. I like to do mine right in front of my clients when I'm taking a listing presentation. So we'll go over the seller's net sheet. Why is that important? I think no one's buying a vehicle or anything of importance without knowing what the rates are going to be, what the fees are going to be, and what I'm going to pay to sell my home. So a seller's net sheet is a great proponent of my listing class. We'll go through all of that when you come to my class, and also we'll discuss the contract itself. 
the listing presentation contract. What is a listing presentation contract? Well, in the beginning, it's basically for me and for you, the listing package, which consists of our agency disclosure, the disclosure that indicates we could be both in a dual agency, the listing package itself, and confirmation of agency. We'll understand why it's important for you to have that AD agency disclosure signed before you discuss any of the items that I'm talking about now. So that we can make sure that you have a fiduciary duty between you and your client. A listing presentation is not just one thing, but various components of items make up the listing presentation. So when that knock comes on your door, you need to be prepared. New agents, senior agents, we all need to be prepared when a listing presentation comes in. What do we do when we go to a listing presentation? Well, we'll be discussing some of those items as well. How do I prepare? What do we do? Sometimes when we show up for the listing presentation, we need to know once again, what is the property I'm looking at? And I'm going to give you an example. You're going to pull out the title information on the property you're going to be looking at. When you get that call, we'll need to pull out the title information on that property so that we can ascertain the data of that property. We're going to pull out and understand also the comparables of that property active, pending, and sold that are near that property in which I'm going to take that listing at. You'll be able to explain to your clients the active, the pending, and sold and how they will affect the value for your client. We'll go over the fact that you need to view the property that you're looking at. You know I've never been to a home where one of my clients says to me, Jose, you know, I have the ugliest home on the block. And you know why? Because all of us think we have the prettiest home on the block. And as a realtor, when you take a listing, that's part of your job. To differentiate what that home has compared to the com competition. You have to be diplomatic in the way we tell our clients the pluses and the negatives of that listing. I'm going to go over a quick CMA with you. Not the complete CMA, but a quick CMA, which tells us the homes that are available currently in the market, such as the active, the pending, and the sold. And with the quick MA, CMA, we're able to ascertain how many days homes are staying on the market and how many days does it take to sell a home. We're able to ascertain also during the listing class why are commission important. You'll be able to look at the CMA and ascertain what commissions Realtors are paying in that particular market, which can affect your sale. For example, you're taking a listing and you put it at 2% when really the commissions are 25 so we'll be discussing all of those things during our listing class. And also, we once again, we'll go over the seller's net sheet. When I started off, we used to say it was 8.5%, 6% commission, 2.5% fees. But can you explain those fees? Can you tell your client the cost that it takes to sell the home? During my class, we'll discuss those fees, what it would cost, the listing price, the sales price, the encumbrances on that property, and also the fees that are charged, such as escrow, sub-escrow, recording, drawing, docs, interest, reconveyance, commission, <clears throat> and how to explain to your clients and substantiate why you should be getting that commission. You'll learn all of this in my class, and you'll learn once again the contract and the various forms that are required when you take the listing. 
I hope that you will all come to my class. It, the class that I'm going to give you today is only 30 minutes. But to give you the complete class, you'll take at least a two-hour class. Six to eight on my given day. You'll learn, once again, the contract itself, the residential listing, and the components of the residential listing. Knowing where to put the dates, the time frames, the information, the commission amount, the split of the commission so that your clients can see what you're offering is what they're going to be receiving. And once again, we'll be going through all the components and how to say these things. When you're at a listing presentation, you're not there for three hours. You're there for about 45 minutes. So we have to learn as realtors how to be able to express all of these components in about 45 minutes and get the contract signed. My class will help you to better understand the listing, better understand how to gather your information, better to understand how to get prepared for that listing presentation. I'm asking you to come to my class, the Listing Presentation Seller's Net Sheet class. I hope you can come and join me, Jose R. Martinez. I look forward to seeing you at my class. What is this class all about? Opportunity is knocking. You've been marketing, 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 marketing. And if you are marketing, no matter to your sphere of influence, the area that you market around your community, your neighbors, your family, your friends, when opportunity knocks, they'll call you and ask you, come on down, let's list my property. And what happens when that opportunity comes? For a lot of our new agents, and our new Realtors, sometimes it's a difficult time. So my class is structured to try to help you understand what a listing presentation is all about. You don't want to get that call and they say to you, come on down, and then you show up and you're not prepared. What is a listing presentation? Well, I can tell you, some realtors tell me it's a CMA. No, it's not. It's not a comparative market analysis. That is just one of the components. So if you got that call today, what would you be doing? I can tell you this. We would start off by getting prepared. Are you prepared? Do you know the comps in the area? Well, all of these things are important. When you get that call, the first thing you're going to do is get your data prepared. And that will consist of either calling up your title company or going through realist.com or realist through CRMLS and acquire the data for title. Let's say they called you up on 2727 Butlong Avenue. The first thing I'm going to do is pull out the title information for that particular property. I'm going to pull that particular information and gather the title information of it. So I can find out if Mr. and Mrs. Brown actually live at that property. I'll find out the square footage of the property. We'll get to find out the dimensions of the property, the lot, and when they bought it. So that's the first thing we will learn. Gathering the data. Number two, what's going on around the property? That we'll be doing as well. Are you familiar? I would be looking, if I were you, when I'm marketing my properties, I like to look at all of the listings that are around that particular property so that I can understand the various properties. So when I show up to your home, I'm able to say, you know, Mrs. Brown, you have a lovely home, but there's a model match just down the street from you that has landscape in the back, hardscape in the back, has a spa in the back as well. Things like that are best seen live. So if you have an opportunity, you'll learn in my class that going out and viewing the properties are just as important as looking at them through the MLS.
S. So we'll be gathering our data, gathering our data so that we can sit down with our clients and go through a CMA or the listing presentation. One of the other items I'm going to get is I'm going to acquire my resume. Do you have a resume? I have mine. It'll tell you everything about me. And you should have one too, telling them, your clients, who you are. My resume will tell them who I am, the company I've been with, the company I'm presently with, what I'm doing with this company, and those things that toot your horn, such as, for me, being a president of Tri-Counties Association, the Inland Valley Association, and CRMLS. We need to promote ourselves. And I'll show you, even if you are here and you're new, how to promote yourself. It makes no difference if you've been here one day or 100 days. There is a way to set up a resume that will fit and look well for you. And that's one of the items that I'm going to discuss with you. Preparing your resume. One of the other tools that we go through while we're in our class is what is my company? We should know who you work for. What is the company all about? What is my company? What is your company? What is it all about? Because they're going to ask that question as well and it's one of the components of a listing presentation. I am with Berkshire Hathaway. So when they ask that question, I will say to them, that is a great question. Who is my company? Well, my company is Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. I've been with them for 11 years, and they have 21 offices from the desert to the sea, literally. We have about 2,100 realtors in those 2,100 offices. Some in Gardena, Cerritos, Downey, Norwalk, Bellflower, Ontario, Whittier, Hacienda Heights, Seal Beach, our new office in Metro downtown Los Angeles. They're all over the place. We have offices everywhere. Our company is always in the top 6% nationwide. We're number three in the nation, right behind number two and closing in. We will teach you how to do that. That would be a script. Learning how to tell your clients who you are, about yourself, and about your company. What else should you know? Well, I need to be prepared. I was let you know that one of the other ways or one of the other tools that will help you prepare is the CMA itself. The Comparative Market Analysis. We will discuss the active, the pending, and the sold, and how far back we should look to make sure that we have all the values there. We'll discuss at looking at all values, not only from the MLS, but from the title companies and FISBOs, because all of them affect the value of your listing property. So we'll go over all of those items so that you can sit down with your clients and better explain to them how active, pending, and sold affect their value. We'll go over the fact that when you look at their property, you will sit down and actually do an inspection on their property so that you can see the components of the home, so that you can see the backyard and the front yard, so that you can see how it compares to the other properties in the community. We'll sit down and, and learn when you take the listing presentation, what other questions should I ask? A question I like to ask is always, where are you going? Are you moving to another location? That may mean if they said to you, you know what, I'm going to sell this home and I'm thinking about buying another one here in Murrieta or Menifee, or Long Beach, you may want to say, can I assist you and tie yourself to that client for not just one transaction, but for two transactions. So when you come to my class, I will help you understand better 
What questions should I ask? You'll understand too that when you're going through a listing presentation, it's pretty fluid. It's not a standard situation where you're sitting down at a table and that's where you're at all the time. You're asking questions such as, how much do you owe on the property? So that you can find out information so that when you sit down to do another component of the listing presentation, the seller's net sheet, you will be better prepared. What is a seller's net sheet? A seller's net sheet to me is a form that shows the sellers an estimate of the cost. If I sold this home at a certain price and we projected a sale at a certain price, based on the debt, their encumbrances, we would come up with a fee or a net for them. And when you're doing this, you'll understand that their fees are called estimated costs, such as escrow fees, docs, recording, interest, home protection, miscellaneous, buyer's fees, private transfer fees, non-owner occupants fees, city transfer fees, transfer fees, and commission. All of these fees are part of the seller's fees and you'll be able to understand how these fees are calculated so that when you sit with your clients you're able to say when I sell your home based on this projected sales price and these costs you should have an estimated net of this amount. And then we'll go through the contract so that you can better explain to your clients the contract they're going to sign. You'll be able to sign the AD so that you can start your fiduciary duty with your clients. You'll be able to go through the contract and we'll go through the contract page by page so you'll understand the important portions of the contract, the listing contract, and how it affects you. How many days should I take that listing for? I would suggest never take a listing for under 90 days, but I prefer six months. Why? Because it takes in today's market somewhere between 90 to 120 days. 120 days is four months. So even if you open up escrow in 90 days or 120 days, you'll need at least another 30 to 45 days to close. So I will be explaining to you how to prepare your listing packages and the strategies and the techniques that are necessary when you're taking a listing. Do I need my disclosures when I take a listing? Well, that's a good question, and we'll discuss that too. Are all listings the same? That's a good question, and I'll say to you, no, all listings are not the same. They're all different, and I'll give you an example. If you've worked for someone and you've sold home after home after home, and they're your clients, and they say, my clients for life? Well, that may be a different type of listing. Sometimes my clients say to me, Jose, I just need to know how much it'll cost. But when you meet that first client, that knock of opportunity, and you're not sure about what you're supposed to do, remember, you can come to my class and we'll spend two hours together so you and I will better understand how to get that listing and prepare that listing package. I look forward to seeing you at my class, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, ready to serve you.